Say hi, Gray. What are you doing? <laughs> He's giving me a hug. Oh, I love your hugs. Earlier in the car, he said, Mom, you're my best friend. <laughs> so I love that. We've just been kind of hanging out here in the kitchen. Gray's been having a snack. He had apples and pretzels. These like thin pretzels. They're like in the blue bags. He is obsessed with them. He just wants to eat them all the time. I go through phases. I definitely think they're the best pretzel out there, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood for a pretzel. But anyway, I just wanted to vlog because... Ah, Gray's like pushing on my belly. Because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a couple days and I just feel like there's... I don't know, I just wanna catch you up on life and how things are going. Today is November 8th, so it's election day. Um, so Grayson did not have preschool today, did you? I have library time. What did we do today instead of preschool? Library. The library. What did we do at the library? We ride the school bus. <laughs> we play game. Yeah, and we did story time. And what was the letter of the day? F. F. Tomorrow is G. <laughs> yeah, well, tomorrow you go back to preschool and it's I week at preschool, huh? So, yeah, um, I don't know how it is where you live, but here um, in Ohio, um, most of the schools are voting poll locations and so they just close all the schools on voting day and even though gray's not in a like school school he's in a preschool and his preschool is in a church and i think they use a lot of churches as polling locations too so his school is a polling location so they just shut it down just to like keep the kids safe and not have like random strangers coming and going all throughout the school day so he had no school today, which was just kind of weird because, like, it's a Tuesday. So he had school yesterday. He'll have school tomorrow. It's just one day he doesn't have school. So I was like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do with these kids? I decided to take them to the library and go to story time. So usually Porter and I go to story time on Mondays while Gray's at preschool. But this week I just switched it to Tuesdays instead of Monday so that I could take Grayson, too. And it was really fun. We went to story time. Um, the kids got stamps, which they loved, and they sang and, you know, read books. And then the library that we went to is really awesome because they always have activities for the kids. And they have, like, this huge school bus that the kids can, like, pretend to drive. And they usually have, like, fake food or, like, fake ice cream or something to play with. And they have a huge, like, interactive screen that kids can play games on. Yeah, we did that this morning. And we have records. Yeah, he played with Legos. So they have like tons of stations. It's really awesome. The kids love going. So we did that. And then Porter's been napping um, for the past couple hours. <coughs> so now we're going to go and wake him up. And then we're going to go outside. This is like literally, I feel like we have the same routine every day. It's feeling a little monotonous. <laughs> Greg goes to school in the morning. We do nap time and then after nap time we go outside and I go and rake slash leaf blow the leaves. <laughs> That's like yeah! and then we do dinner and then we either do bath or we play in the basement because then it's like too dark outside. So it's very monotonous. <laughs> Today's really no different except we did the library instead of school. I'll show you guys um, our outside. Okay, so I'm just showing you out the kitchen window. So here's our backyard. And if you can see, we have all of these trees. Now, usually in the summer, these trees are so in bloom, I don't know how to say it, that we cannot see the house behind us. Like, it's awesome, it's so private, we love it. But that means in the fall, there are a million leaves that drop from those trees. I thought our old house had a lot of tree or leaf droppage i think this house has even more which is just crazy to say that because our backyard is smaller and we don't technically have like trees like in the middle of our property like the old house did but it's all on the edges of our property so anyway tons we don't have very many on the front we have like one or two trees out by the front by the um street like they just have trees lining the street which is really pretty those have not dropped yet 
so we will have to do those but all the ones in the backyard they're pretty much gone there's a couple leaves still hanging on but for the most part they are gone and so basically every day i've been going out thankfully my parents got us a leaf blower as a christmas present they got it for like all the couples last year and so i have been using that to no end every day i go out and for a good hour i work on the leaves um till the leaf blower dies and then if i still have energy i do the rake if I don't have energy, then that's it. That's all I do. I just feel like it's a never ending job. Like I blow all the leaves and we just blow them to the curb here and they come and like suck it up in their trucks, which is way nicer than our old house because we had to like put them in bags. But I swear like I go and I leaf blow them all and then I just constantly find more leaves that I have to blow or rake or whatever. So anyway, that's what we're going to do after we wake up Porter. Also going on this week, it was daylight savings. Uh, well, the end of it, like on Sunday and today's Tuesday. So a couple days ago and the kids are doing OK. Porter is really struggling with it. Gray's doing all right, but Porter's really struggling. He has been having meltdowns. It doesn't help that he's also sick. The kids had a really bad cold and then they got better and then they went right into another cold. And this one doesn't seem to be as bad. They just have really bad coughs and a lot of like mucus. So last night we put Porter to bed and then he woke up at like 10, I think, and was just coughing, coughing, coughing. And then I could hear him start to like puke. So I ran upstairs and he was just like puking up mucus. Like there's just so much mucus he needed to get out. So he got it all over me. Then I went in the bathroom and he was like, I turned on the shower, the heat in the shower to get the steam to like break it up. And he was thankfully puking the rest of it into the sink. Um, he seems better today, but they still have colds. So that hasn't been helping. But you guys, he had a full on. Sorry, Gray just made a mess. He had a full on meltdown at the library today. He, I was like, we played with toys for a while. And then I said, let's go read books. And he did not want to go read books. So he had his typical meltdown where he just lays wherever he is and just won't move. And um, Gray was getting far away and I couldn't keep my eye on both of them. So I had to pick Porter up and he was screaming, which of course we're in the library screaming kicking finally got him to where gray was with the books and he again he just laid down and this little random boy who was probably about a year younger than porter came up to him and just like laid on him and gave him a hug <laughs> it was so funny and then after like 10 minutes porter calmed down and was okay to read books but he has been having a really rough time hasn't been wanting to sleep, hasn't been sleeping well. Um, so I think it's a combination of daylight savings being an hour behind and then also this cold that's really affecting him. So it's been a little difficult here. It always is. I always feel like it lasts like two weeks and then usually we're like adjusted, but it's hard on kids and I can't explain to them like daylight savings. They don't understand, they don't care. So I really hope they end it. I guess there's talk that, or like they, they like passed a law, but it hasn't been signed that we would only have to do daylight savings one more time. We would spring forward in the spring and then never do it again. I really hope that passes because I hate, I hate it. I hate doing it. I hate the effect it has on everyone. So we'll see. I don't know when that, when they decide if it's gonna happen or not but i hope they decide to get rid of it because i hate it i hate it as a parent i think all parents hate it <laughs> so anyway that's kind of thing that's going on i'll vlog a little bit here or there we've been doing thankful turkeys we did it last year go watch my vlogs last year if you want to see it um i'll probably show you guys what we do this year but we have been doing thankful turkeys so we need to do a new feather are you guys are you gonna show the vlog your thankful turkey so last year I just did one for Gray, but you know, I can't just do one for Gray anymore because Porter cares. So now I've done one for Gray and one for Porter. This one is Grayson's and this one is Porter. I have not graced any of the leaves. Porter did say daddy the first day, um, but we are at candles, uh, towels, bath time, <laughs> toys. 
um, milk and water, and yeah, the color yellow. So that's where we're at right now. It's always a joke to see how long it takes until my name comes up. Um, <laughs> I think last year, last year was the first year we did it, and it took almost for Zian. I'm gonna say like maybe halfway through the month, and finally <laughs> they said my name. But it's it's all fun and gets us thinking about what we're thankful for, things that we love, because not everyone is as uh, fortunate as we are. So um, I got this off of Busy Toddler Instagram or website or however you find her. So if you're interested, look her up. She has awesome ideas for all the holidays. So that I can't take credit for this. She came up with it. But let's go get Porter and then we will do our leaf or our leaf. They look like leaves. We'll do our feathers and then we'll go outside and leaf blow again. And then I got to make dinner. Also, did you vote? Hopefully you voted. Anthony and I did uh, absentee voting because it's too hard to get in with two kids at home. Anthony had to all of a sudden go into the office today, so it would have been hard for him to go in. So we just do it early. We do absentee voting. It allows us to vote on our own time. We can research everyone that's on the ballot on our own time instead of just like guessing. So I hope you voted because uh, we did. Good kick, Porter. Here it comes. Porter loves kicking the soccer ball. Ooh. Good kick, Bubba. He's gonna love playing soccer next year. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> His little run. Uh-oh, better go get it. <laughs> Ready? Go get it! <laughs> Uh-oh, where'd it go? <laughs> mommy. Say that again. What did you draw? Grayson versus Mommy. Grayson versus Mommy. So, well, while Porter's playing with the soccer ball, Grayson is over here playing with the sidewalk chalk. And apparently he drew Grayson versus Mommy. He also drew this, which I thought was hilarious. It says loading dot dot dot. <laughs> Still got bad colds. What's that? What did you draw? Lines. Lines? mommy and Grayson as you can see we've been doing a lot of sidewalk chalk and it has not rained <laughs> so we're running out of room can we draw a couple and we can go yeah mommy. go ahead but, yeah Porter but. first draw the people draw three people uh oh there goes the ball <coughs> go get it Port. Mommy, mommy. 